Do you do you uh, do you sign your name different from from Chat. how it looks? <laughs> No, I, I like my name, but sometimes Chat is it's, a like, they. it's hard to think about how you feel about your together. name if it wasn't your name. In you this know? case, chat is mm -hmm. not a gender-neutral they, it's a plural they. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually very funny. <laughs> Alright, chat, let's fucking go. There's no bird today. He didn't, she didn't, she just not here for some reason, and we're, we're late, and we're gonna start. <laughs> so all of you guys are player yellow, so fucking answer questions and whatnot. Or get, I'll, get laid, or I'll everyone. kill you. <laughs> Let's see if chat goes to prom. <laughs> they, they, get, they get a secret ending collectively. Dude, <laughs> dude, mad props if you get us a secret ending yeah. for sure. So if, if chat can periodically remind <laughs> incoming new people in chat that you guys are our chat, that'd be helpful. Yeah, some yeah, <laughs> somebody let people yeah. we'll know. Welcome to stupid personality thing, blah blah, blibbity blah blah. All right, chat, think of an answer because you guys got what her ones. You guys are saying the most, I guess. I'll I'll put in. All right, you wish you were raised by a really progressive marriage between a kick-ass venomous snake and actual fire. I love fire, and I see no issue with being raised by it. A pack of wild wolves who also happen to be tech moguls who own some of the most profitable companies in Silicon Valley. They'd be kick-ass role models and wild and wild wolves. Sick. I don't know if they'd be good role models if they're from Silicon Valley. <laughs> they're socially awkward wolves. They're just entirely legacy. <laughs> yeah. A mysterious old man who saved me from the streets in order to raise me as his disciple in the ancient ways of rad DJing. I mean, wolves. I didn't even really think it through. <laughs> uh, DJing. DJing. Stephanie? Dude, I want to be... I want to have a snake mom, so... A snake mom. Yep. And chat's voting for two. That's three votes for two. There you go. You guys are wealthy. Congrats. I thought it was creative. Which one do you think was creative? Oh, the bottom one. The bottom, yeah. What would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? A sample of more nutritious breakfast option. A, a sample of a more nutritious breakfast option, so people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful crap. That's self-defeating for a, a brand to do. Well, they probably own both brands. Oh my god. Oh works. my god, the fucking Tony the Tiger hookup in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Top left oh. corner, one eight hundred. Yeah. Great, call me Art. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's why they deleted the Tony the Tiger Twitter account. Is that kind of stuff? Uh, I think they should just <laughs> let it go. A tiny piece of sharp. <laughs> let it be free. Yeah, a tiny piece of sharp metal, so every scoop will be full of thrill and danger. The phone number of that sexy tiger on the yeah. front of the box. He's so passionate about breakfast oh. and health that he's surely a, a great, great lover. lover. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, <laughs> he picked that so fast. I'm so going for number two. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> That's the best What is it, Colonel? Number two, number two. I want number three also. All right. <laughs> I don't want number one. Everyone's everyone, the worst gosh, one. Everyone wants three except Colonel. Okay, cool. Including chat. I'm glad we all agree, everyone. Yeah. So everyone charming. So charming. What would be the most appealing in a love partner? A big uh, horn. Hawaii eyes. 50 gigabytes of RAM. Sharp wits. Tentacles. Soft fur. Do, do, do. So who's going to go after Calculus for this time? Or do you guys have you guys picked out your plans? Uh, I haven't, but I, I still want to fuck Calculus, or... But also, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I would. I already, I already think I fucked that up because I put stats into charming and boldness. <laughs> I mean, you, you have a whole game to try to figure it out. No one knows how to do it yet. What even is sharp wits? It's just being that clever. Liam? Oh, I was, I was gonna say, no, you don't know what that means? Because they mean people. Ba -doop -ba -doop. It's probably Liam. Yeah. It's probably Liam. Yeah. Dude. Oh, the chant wants fur. The, I, the first response was... I are we go, doing first response or most go, responses? I could go for Miranda. Who's Miranda mm, again? That's Miranda, yeah. Oh, okay, good, good. I like wasting her. Okay, I'm gonna I'll go with... Uh, oh, so it's me, no. Uh, <laughs> what, what? Get out. Where, where are you, uh, who are you going for, Steph? Uh, I, was, I was gonna say, I'll try to go for the robot. If you don't want to go for the robot. You do whatever you... Uh, yeah. Follow your dreams. I'm gonna go for Bighorn. Who's that? That's probably Damien. Damien. Yeah. yeah. And chat's saying a lot of fur. Well, we know our audience. <laughs> if you were a D and D character, what would be your class? Money maker, party smith, obscure moment grammar, fanfic bard, automaton, and 
gun ever. I've never rolled that one. Uh, none of these are Miranda, are they? No, those are Miranda. No, it's, these are yeah. different, I think. I, th I thought that they put the ones you voted for already on the next screen so you could focus in on them. But yeah, it's oh, Vera, yeah, Polly, Liam, Zoe, Calculester, and uh, Damien. Damien, because maximum uh, guns. Gunness. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Um, I guess fanfic bard. You're stealing chats. Uh, the, I'm going for gun haver. See um, how that goes. I'll do automaton, automaton, automaton. <laughs> Up chance in fanfic. You guys gotta be fast because I'm not gonna wait that long. <laughs> All right, so um, game begin. Sure. Sup? I'm gonna go to the store. Show me that money. Right away? Yep. Hi, stranger. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. Here's mod stuff. <laughs> Here it go. Oh, 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 oh surprise. Oh, what? Oh. Yep. I'm gonna go to the poetry plot. Bye, guys. There's a. But what were the other ones? Uh, there's a ticket to heaven. And two other things. Fuck. <laughs> you look at that. I didn't go. I, I didn't even read the description for this, which I should have done. I'm doing my job wrong. What does the poetry competition do? It does a poetry competition. I want to be at the poetry. Too competition. late. I hit the poetry competition. And remember, the first rule: shop club, no refunds. Shop club. <laughs> that shop club makes me think you're working on cars. This is a chaos mode okay. thing. We have we have both mods and we have a uh, chat playing a character. <laughs> Let's go for bold, see if I can... I don't know how, where this is gonna go. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. You managed to catch a moment alone with Calculester. He inter That's not the right person for no! meeting. <laughs> he introduces you to one of his little plant friends. This is my little jade plant friend, Robert Plant. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Say hello, Robert. Note, I am aware that Robert is incapable of saying hello, as yes, he is a plant. Also, he does not yet have a gender. I am merely engaging in what you organics call imaginative play. It's very, very extraordinary. But... Fuck, they're here too. <laughs> oh, look at you two. You're so cute again. She's the terrifying parasite fungus growing out of that Sasquatch's head. Rieti. You're about to say thank oh. you when you realize that they were addressing Calculester and his plant. Everyone at this school is so afraid of commitment. Always flirting, never settling down. It's refreshing to see a robot and a plant actually dating. Mm -hmm. I believe you are mistaken. Robert and I are not dating, actually or otherwise. You aren't? But you care about him deeply, don't you? In as much as I understand the concept of caring, yes. And if anything ever happened to him, you'd be devastated, right? Once again, you have asked me a question about feelings, and once again, I must say, probably. And he's completely dependent upon you for sustenance, correct? Finally, an uncomplicated question. Yes, this is objectively true. Hmm. Sounds like you're dating to me. Oh dear, I had not considered the possibility that my attachment to Robert Plant might constitute a romantic entanglement. <gasps> But perhaps, perhaps you are correct. No, you can't let Calculester believe he's dating his plant. Not if you have any hope of dating him yourself. Quick, prove the couple wrong. Why? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, against... Like the uh, question of how you ended up with him somehow. Yeah, well, why did it happen? I don't know why Sorry, how the Stephanie. game works. Oh, it's okay. Well, Actually, I'll according... just ride the wind. Yeah, or she'll just grab a mod <laughs> item. Actually, according to this very thorough teen magazine, robots and succulents are romantically incompatible. I think they're very compatible. You, you can't be in a relationship <laughs> with Robert because I am. Oh, I think the second the second one is definitely more interesting. I, I, I would like to see where that goes. But the first one is smarts and I trust that. The second one is probably like charm. Oh, I don't know. Well, yeah, let's go to the first one. Oh, so it's fun. fun! How is that fun? <laughs> you pull out the dog-eared issue of Where Tiger Beat that you keep in your backpack for just such oh, occasions. Because you're reading a magazine, that's why it's fun, I guess. Yeah. 
The cover mm. article is an exhaustive list of interspecies pairings that make us squeal. Hmm. Human and food processor. Werewolf and whole turkey leg. Oh, here it is. Robot and succulent. What does it say? Am I in love? Oh. How is your loneliness? Um, no. According to this article, succulents and other plant-based creatures tend to be asexual and er aromantic. A deadly combination for a robot trying to learn how to feel romantic love. I guess they wouldn't learn anything from each other, so... <laughs> what, what a shame. I really thought you guys would make a cute symbiotic pairing. Hmm? Oh, well. <laughs> single again. Not for long. If you got anything to say about it, you gain two smarts and one charm. Let's do this! Stefani. Uh, what? Uh, Where would you like to go, Gwen? Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? What do the items do? Like your mod items? Like, do they make you do different? I think different... they just opt into the plot lines. But admittedly, the shop can only be done once at once at a time. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. Maybe at lunch you can try again. I don't know. I'm just curious. Um, okay. Well, I don't know who the fuck I'm gonna. I downloaded date all the now. official mods. <laughs> So I think I'm just... Ca you could fight. I don't... <laughs> no. <laughs> or just see who shows up, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just how it works. Usually just somebody shows up and you just go after yeah. that person. <clears throat> I mean, mm, I probably should work yeah. on my creativity, but I don't... Because I'm, I'm fucking... Or my fun. Let's work on my fun. I've never done... I've actually never done fun. Never done fun? No. Ever? Like you've never <laughs> been to the outdoors? No, I just inherently end up fun because I just am. <laughs> that's just my There's natural habitat. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain two fun. You're partying your ass off with Zoe, Damien, and Liam when a holy throwing knife almost hits you in the face, says the hunter. You look up and... Ugh, of course it's the Slayer. She's sitting in the upper branches of a big tree, and she won't stop throwing deadly magic items. There's so many characters. Cut that sh <laughs> cut <laughs> Yeah. Cut, cut that shit out. Can't you see I'm just trying to party? How am I supposed to mosh with your stupid projectiles everywhere? Seriously, what obtuse pathology possesses you to perpetually violate our bodily autonomy? Oh, a critical hit. So many characters. <laughs> Uh, uh, can I do her? Yeah, sure. Dude, go for it. What? <laughs> uh, he said, he said, why the fuck won't you stop throwing stuff at us? Oh, um, well, definitely not because I have a crush on one of, or more of you and violence <laughs> is the only way I know of expressing affection, as unhealthy as that may be. I want to pick her. <clears throat> you have a crush? Oh man, that is totally going in my fanfic. This is impossible. What? No! Bros! Sundere. The real reason I'm here is that I'm planning to enter a high-level dungeon on Monday, but I don't have enough XP. So if y'all wouldn't mind getting killed by me real quick, it would really help me level up. Hmm. If you could just suggest a better way for the Slayer to gain experience, maybe she'd leave you guys alone for a while, but what to suggest? Have you tried getting an internship at a mega corporation? I heard they pay in experience. <laughs> oh gosh. You haven't had much success hunting us so far. Maybe you need to target some lower level monsters. Have you heard of spooky kindergarten? That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Go kill some children instead of high schoolers. <laughs> I mean, I think that bottom one is smart, so I'm gonna go with that, but that's just awful. <laughs> There's little baby monsters. So bold. Oh, fuck. With the child Oh, because I killed mur I killed children. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You're like, that's so Kindergarten, smart. you say. <laughs> it sounds intelligent. <laughs> what a great idea. Kinder kindergarten, you say? I certainly have a height advantage. And wow. kindergartners are idiots. They'd never outwit me. They've never seen baby geniuses, obviously. <laughs> Plus, they've got a pretty high respawn rate, since I wouldn't <laughs> have to wait for them to grow up. Wait, what am I saying? This is wrong. I can't believe I'm listening to you. You're trying to turn me into one of you. I can feel I can feel your pernicious tendrils in my mind even now. I must flee or risk corruption. No, that's Zoe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. Those tendrils were me. I was just trying to figure out who she has a crush on. Damn, Stephanie, I'm impressed that you were willing to sacrifice an entire kindergarten just so we could party in peace. Oh, Damien, don't be so naive. 
She she knew the Slayer wouldn't take the bait. It was nothing but a clever bluff. Do they all after me? Do I have, <laughs> is this what's happening? <laughs> Did you get everyone at once? You just got Maybe. multiple stats. Uh, yeah, totally. A very clever bluff. You gain two charm and one boldness. All right. All right, time for chat to just start yelling locations. <laughs> I think they, they said something before I saw somebody comment. Oh no, there's a delay. Yeah. What can I do? I saw somebody say something before, right at the start. Somebody went gym, oh, gym library. library, library, two libraries. Oh, uh, two jit fuck. That's the same jit twice. You can't trick. No, it's the same one twice. Oh, you can't fuck. trick me. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's many uh, times. Okay, that's three libraries and one guy saying Jim a lot. <laughs> 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 you spend the day. You spent uh, that day. You spent some time on the library PC, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Hey there, cutie pie. I found your profile. Let's chat. Hot singles in your area. <laughs> My husband's dead. I just want to fuck. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Well, that's, that even, that's not even a con. <laughs> that, that, that's like a real thing. That's like a real pop-up. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose 10 karma, but that's too money. You notice Polly bent over her phone <laughs> while Miranda tries to peek over her shoulder. Something really interesting must be going on on Polly's phone. When you get closer, though, you see that Polly's just on a horny dating app trademark again, swiping right on everybody. Miranda seems entranced, though, and a little worried. <clears throat> uh, what? Did you say this was, uh, what did you say this was called again? Horny dating app TM. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna, like, I'll, I'll try to do justice for Bird. I'll never be able to do as good of a poly as him. I'll do my best. <clears throat> and it is an app for finding true love? Um, sure. How majestic. But, but I never knew. I have spent countless hours going to royal balls and kissing frogs and pretending to be in a magical slumber. When I could have simply been using this app? I mostly just use it for collecting dick pics. What are these dick pics? Tokens of affection? Oh, alas. To be so far behind in my quest for love. I am 19 years old, practically an old maid, and only now learning of this? Oh, how will I ever make up for lost time? Don't worry, I'll coach you in the mysterious ways of horny dating app TM. You'll have a whole harem in no time, which you can probably afford because you're royalty. You still don't have any, you still don't have horny dating app TM? <laughs> we always had TM. <laughs> <laughs> why should you worry? <laughs> Uh, why should you worry having horny dating app TM when you can actually own horny dating app TM? What? That one's the money one. The coaching is the charming one, I think. Uh, why why worry about uh, having it when you can own it? Okay. Yeah. Why don't you just Owning buy the entire company? Owning help you. Why the fuck would that help you? Oh. <laughs> People still have to like you. There was so much horny dating app TM in that sentence that I lost the structure of the sentence and had to like <laughs> go meaning. back and figure out what I was reading. Um... Is somebody voting for the bottom option? So far, I think. Yep. Yeah, and somebody few. for top. So smart! Oh. oh. <clears throat> I never know how this game works. Ah, yes, of <laughs> course! Oh, because coaching, I guess. No, wait, you said bottom one. The bottom one was smart? What yeah. the fuck? I would never would have guessed that. <laughs> yeah, same. I said that already. Oh. I will simply purchase the app and require all of its most attractive and heroic users to date me. It is exactly how my father met my mother, except with the Indian Ocean instead of horny dating app TM. Holly, I will give you $230 million for horny dating app TM. I mean, okay, but like, I don't actually own the company. What do you mean? I thought you said you had horny dating app TM. Yeah, on my phone. I have a copy of the app. I don't own any successful internet startups. Oh yes, I have forgotten that you were poor. I am so sorry. <laughs> it, it's cool. I must depart. Well anyways, I'm off to buy a horny dating app TM now. Goodbye. Have fun? Now might be a good time to uninstall horny dating app TM from your phone. Meanwhile, you gain two creativity and one smarts. Oh boy. Ooh. Everybody choose a food. 
Uh, Ooh, how chat do we... needs to food. Uh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> I won. I don't know how, do we, uh, don't know how we determine chips. chat's food. First one. First one they say twice, or first one anyone says? First one anyone Ooh. inputs twice. Like first one and the second person agrees with, maybe? <clears throat> I don't know. You, say, you said mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes. What do you say, Colonel? Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. <laughs> That's cute, I like that. Uh. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, chocolate chips. I <laughs> see. <laughs> so, Arsenic. Somebody, no. Somebody put, uh, somebody put dog because dog? we always say don't, don't say dog. <laughs> Technically. Yeah. Uh, gyoza. I've done that before. Oh, pineapples. Second pineapple. They said pineapple. Pineapples twice. So pineapple yeah, yeah. is our choice for and you it guys. It wasn't the same person. I'll just do ramen. Yeah. So pineapple. You can do... <laughs> pineapple, oh, you're, ramen, you're ramen, mashed potatoes, and... Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. That's <laughs> food. I forget that's a food. Player order is decided based on how plausible the chosen food would be as a vehicle for government mind control. Ooh. Ramen, mashed potatoes, chocolate chips, and pineapple. You know, honestly, chocolate I think... chips is the most plausible. I would say. I'm just gonna say everybody everybody the chocolate, them. like it's fluoride. Yeah. But, yeah. but ramen's so. I think ramen's so like ubiquitous, and it's only ninety nine cents, and you can get a bunch of college. Oh, that buy makes it. more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Get them, get them young. You get all the poor people. Yeah, and it's already especially, dry. Yeah, especially if you want to control so it, the poor it's people. Shelf stable. I did get the shelf stable mm -hmm. option. I'll totally pretend I meant instant ramen and not like good ramen. <laughs> well, fuck! I take, I take it back. If you no, was. too late, too late. You made it. <laughs> no too, one can you, afford you iron, fancy You already ramen. Iron Man to my argument. <laughs> I, I regret everything. I, I vote for Keith first. Yes. Hey. I like chocolate chips. Pineapple, mush, uh, mashed potatoes, and chocolate. Yeah, chocolate mashed chips potatoes, is pretty good. I, I think I think mashed potatoes isn't terrible. It reminds me of like it does remind me of like an institution food. We have to decide. Like if you're yeah. in a hospital, or if you're in like a if you're in like a psychiatric ward, they'd probably feed you mashed potatoes. Yeah, mashed potatoes. Potatoes are more prison foodie than pineapples. <laughs> but that makes but that makes more sense. Like even even the the scenario of prison food, it makes more sense than pineapples because not everybody eats pineapples. And pineapples it's expensive and some food. people are allergic, um, and also it is perishable. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. There's last so many years. people here. All right, the store's back. Um, mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot. The demons here. Um, demons here. No one's doing Polly or Miranda. But I'm also curious huh. about demon. But yeah, I'll go over here. Polly and Miranda sit together, surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of serfs. So, wait, you've actually got serfs who eat for you? Disgraceful. <laughs> well, of course, I find eating to be terribly undignified, so I almost never do it. Hey, me neither. What kind of crazy serfs have you got? Well, I have a surf to go to the bathroom for me, a surf to experience difficult emotions for me, and a surf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. I even have a surfing surf for standing on top of whenever I go surfing. Wow, that's a lot of surfs. It's a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination. Unfortunately, my imagination surf imagined a way to escape from surfdom, so now I'm all out of ideas. Oh no, you gave one of them free will. <laughs> <laughs> now the world is doomed. Well, I'm sure with the help of Keith, we could probably think up a dope new kind of surf. Oh, is that so? I can't wait. Well, you're on the spot now. What will it be? Ooh, Miranda. You should get a, a puppy surf. It's not actually a surf, it's just like 50 That's cute a great dogs. Idea. You should definitely do that. You should get a party <laughs> surf, Polly. A surf to experience your hangovers oh, hell, he, for that you. That is honestly a great suggestion. That is a lot, but puppy surf is definitely Miranda. A surf that's actually just a room full of cute puppies? Why didn't my imagination surf come up with such a marvelous idea? I swear if he hadn't escaped, I'd have him hanged by my execution surf immediately. As a matter of fact, would you like to be my new imagination surf? The pay is not existent, but you make up for it in constant fear of death. You politely decline Miranda's offer, but agree to the animal uh, to go to the animal shelter to pick up a puppy surf instead. Huzzah! Let's go. Puppy so surf. So we didn't it's just fifty we puppies. Di we didn't get um, hearts in the first options. Uh, what's what's the question? 
like in the this is noon in the morning. Did we not get hearts with the people? You said nobody is dating um, Polly or Miranda. Uh, I don't know. Are you guys? Did I forget no, something? No, the, the chat did. Yeah, I the chat, chat did. wanted Zoe. Well, chat, but the, but in the last interaction, chat chat was with Polly and Miranda. I'm just trying to. I, it's hard to remember everything. Chat. <laughs> you I, just cock block chat. I thought I went after Miranda at the beginning, didn't I? No. Uh, uh, wait. Who did you? I don't know. No, you I'm, bought. You bought I'm getting things. really. I'm getting overwhelmed. You bought it. You bought things. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm getting overwhelmed trying to run this. <laughs> a, yeah, because you're reading chat. Of, at I'm, the same I'm time. looking at a lot of things at once, trying to make this thing work, and it's confusing. It's okay. So that my continuity okay, is sorry. fucked. I, I'm going for uh, Calculester. I, I just remember at the beginning. I thought they wanted tentacles. Hmm. Do it, Colonel. Get Calculus or get him for us all. You know the I'll old joke: a it. robot and a vampire sit down at a cafeteria table to not to not eat. Friend Liam, you seem quite focused. Thus, I apologize for interrupting. Hmm. But I cannot help notice that you are frequently absorbed in your technology to the exclusion of all else. Hmm. As a piece of technology myself, I must admit of to being the synthetic equivalent of flattered. Mm-hmm. But something does not compute. I spent my days and nights longing for organic connection, mm. trying and failing to artificially generate the sensation of being loved. But you, with the entire organic population of this high school at your fingertips, choose to instead use these fingertips to stimulate your smartphone instead. It intensifies my loneliness just to oh, watch. Oh, what a cute baby. Lean into that feeling. Loneliness is the third coolest emotion, right behind Sundre and Nun. <laughs> I do not wish to lean into that feeling, Liam. I wish for you to lean out of it. You don't know what you're asking, Cal. Do you, uh, do you know how many photos are shared on Momentgram alone every hour? 3,958,333.33 repeating. It was supposed to be a rhetorical question, but you've only strengthened my point, which is this. What if, while I was away from my phone seeking organic connection, one of those momentgram posts were to be bad? Who would post a devastatingly condescending emoji? Who would ironically share it along with a gif of Marcel Duchamp languidly oh smoking a cigarette? Marcel Duchamp. Who, I ask you, who? The internet is defenseless without me. I cannot miss a moment. Of course, the pretentious asshole is the guy that also likes Marcel Duchamp. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Counterpoint. This is unhealthy and bad, and you should not do it anymore. Wow, things are getting pretty heated at this cafeteria table. You better resolve this dispute one way or the other before your ice cream melts. Leave Liam alone, Calculester. Not everyone has a super potent microprocessor for a brain so that you can receive internet updates while interacting with people. Check your robo privilege. <laughs> Calculester is right, Liam. How about instead of uh, burying your pink tinged nose in your phone, you get updates via a puppet show? Calculester and I will now perform for you. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'll definitely do the second one because it's Calculester's line. Yeah. And it's also beautiful. None, literally, none also, of us yeah. are doing the person we chose at the beginning. Of this whole thing's a train wreck. <laughs> uh, a puppet show? That's too lame for me. Ugh. I would be grateful for the opportunity to engage in your organic life form custom of pretending inanimate objects, as I once was, have thoughts and feelings and opinions, as I now do. Of course, a robot. Doing a puppet show. It's so... It's so meta. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> All that I do <laughs> is metal, for metal is what I am made of. <laughs> Incorrect auditory input. Apologies, I, re I realize that you said meta. The puppet show will be meta, friend Liam. We will make it all that that you we will make it all that you want and more. And so you do. Calculester uses the internet in his mind to get all the information Liam would have gotten from his various platforms, which you and Calculester then translate through puppetry in the style of of Bunraku, <laughs> Wayan Kuli, <laughs> Gwinko <laughs> Marionettes, and Julie Tamer. <laughs> Liam is finally off his phone, and you and Calculester had a wonderful and artistic bonding experience. Let's do this! Nice! Stephanie. Okay, so from what I understand, 
Well, and I'm, I'm a little bit baffled because it seems like the chat wants the store, but I, I was gonna leave Zoe out for them. It's so hard to keep track. I'm gonna, chat. What do you want? Because I'm gonna not. I'm gonna let you have follow your dreams. I'll sabotage myself for you guys. <laughs> so you let you. I think I think they said they wanted store. I think I think I saw earlier. vague comments about item ending, but I can't. I can't keep track of the consensus. Yeah, they're, they're all yelling store now. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the table with the demon at it because I've never seen that demon. <laughs> demon! When you get to Demian and Zoe's table, you find yourself in the middle of a pretty tense situation. Dahlia and Damien are are sitting right next to each other, chewing their lunches way too hard and furiously ignoring each other. Zoe is staring excitedly at the two of them, phone out, ready to film. Is this it? The final showdown between Stormy Blue Nightmare Dahlia and Spicy Red Baby Damien? What? <laughs> oh. Is today the day the Aquinos finally claim the Ace Circle of Hell? All right, guys. I got my phone camera ready and rolling. You can start the bloodbath whenever you're ready. <laughs> Any second now. Go get a life. Ah, give us a fucking break, will you? We're not gonna resolve the centuries-old dispute between our families in this cafeteria. It's anticlimactic. Yeah, I'm just sitting here because Damien's so scrawny and insignificant, I didn't notice him before I sat down. And I'm just sitting here because fuck you. Yeah, fight! For the last time, it's not... it's not dramatically appropriate. Though it does not respond. Instead, she wordlessly slides two knives across the table <laughs> and waits patiently. So what's your play here? Will you convince them to fight or convince Zoe that there's something even juicier going on? Well, you know what they say. If you're not fighting someone to the death, it's usually because you have secret sexy feelings for them. Look, I know you guys can't actually fight for the Eighth Circle right now, but you must want to fuck each other up at least a little, right? How about a thumb war over dessert? Okay, so... I would rather pursue Zoe, but I have no creativity, and that's exactly what she needs. Probably because of the fanfiction. Yeah, so I guess I'll go for Damien, because there's like... I have, I have my boldness is pretty high up there. Um, then yes. Which the, one's which though? <laughs> I guess the top one is yeah. is well, the slash fictiony, and the, the bottom yeah, the, one is yeah. violence. -y. The bottom is violence. The top one's definitely see. The top one's definitely what I would actually say though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll you do, do the, have you do have the boldness for Damien. Yeah. So that's exactly what I'm saying. Is I'm gonna go for Damien because I am more likely to have success that yeah. way. Okay. So let's go ahead and do uh, the bottom one. Weak. There it is. A thumb war. That's clearly beneath me. <laughs> you know what's beneath you? Your butt. See, see, Zoe would want him to say- How dare you? One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. <laughs> Zoe would want him to say, you know what's beneath you? And he would say, me, I'm beneath you. No. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, my thumb is full of boiling hate. Gosh. Uh, stop punching my thumb with your you other hand. You can't punch the thumb. <laughs> I I will when you stop hitting mine with a hammer. Never! Your fruit cup is mine! <laughs> Not if Mr. Dynamite has anything to say about it. <laughs> Damien shoves a stick of dynamite into his fruit cup, destroying the, the cup, cracking Zoe's phone and effectively ending the thumb war. Ah uh, yes, it is as, as the poets say, in the contest of war, the only true winner is the dynamite salesman. And me, because I, I got to blow up a fruit cup and with dynamite. Uh, yeah. yeah. And me, because I won the thumb war. I wish I could date the oh. blue the blue chick, dude. Maybe she'll be in the next game. Please. The, the only thing you won is my fist in your mouth. Damien looks happier now because there's no better dessert than gratuitous violence. And he surely notices he got an extra portion thanks to you. All right. Now you're in love. Chat, yell things. You have two options. It's not that. Oh, wait, they said shop yeah, they said, a lot. They said they? shop, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm watching them. Yeah. I'm watching y'all chat. Oh, you missed me and my shit, huh? Worry no moral. The shit can be yours if you have the money. Not me, though. All right, so there's a lot here. Let's. I'll read the mod ones this time. Uh, how to become a social media sensation. Well, I guess you're going to buy a textbook. If you're going to buy a textbook, it might as well be on how to get clout online. Dude, that's awful. Tickets to heaven. You know what? <laughs> they say Heave is the next Coachella. 
I'm not interested since after dying, I will just go into my second life out of the 91 I have. Everyone wants or the, the nine map. I have. Everyone wants the map for sure. You can read everything if yeah. you'd like, but everyone's saying map definitely but unanimously. Hey, but hey, what if you die, what if you die and go check heaven yourself? Bottled bottled emperor's soul. It has a variety of uses. Mostly, I just use it to get fucking wasted. I bet wasted. you that's for Polly. All right, so those are the uh, those are the new yeah. event. Well, they're event items, so or uh, they're mod items, so I think they're for new characters that the mods added. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh. Uh, anyway, everyone's yelling map. Where is map? Up Map's here. the top. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And they have eight. Okay, they can afford it. I was worried for a second there because it was more expensive than I expected. That is really uh, expensive. Yeah, they were talking about eighty yeah. nine and stuff. A paper map. So useless, yet so vintage. Online maps might be cool, but can you get a real paper cut with online maps? I rest my case. I have literally never seen my chat agree on anything as much as this map. <laughs> it's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, they're all job, yelling guys. at once. Com camaraderie. And it's not it's just, like they're all in the same room. The, it's not just the same like picture repeating either. Yeah. yeah, who would want to save money for their college fund when you can just spend it on weird stuff that's most likely useless? That's the spirit champ. They're pulling a Goonies. I would like to adventure. point out that uh, Bird showed up. Oh, I don't know what to do about that now. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 30 people playing the fourth character now. Everybody but, but he has a TV show. I had to make a call. Movie. We were like an hour late and I had to start. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to pick uh, the cringiest show I can think of. I'm going to pick Young Sheldon. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a Psychic show? Damage. Wait, what the fuck? Is yes. that a dead what is on my that? screen? Oh no, that's on the stream also. So it's oh yeah, that game. I see it okay. as well. Uh, I'm gonna Young pick Sheldon. Game of... Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Game of Thrones. So so people remember it every once in a while. They're gonna like that video. Jesus. <laughs> they all want. They all said They all said fur earlier, now they're saying Beastars. And they also want to <laughs> date Tony the Tiger. Is B Stars the first? So B Stars was the first one that got two different people. To I say think like it. three people have said it. Yeah. So you said. And somebody else said B Swars, which is slightly yeah. different. So Game of Thrones, B Stars, <laughs> and Young Sheldon. Young Sheldon. Ah. I, no. Shout out to Carmen San Diego, though. Okay, I got a I got a wild card. It. What's the um? Hmm. The perfect match is that what's called? Which one? Love Island. I'll go. I'll do Love Island. Wait, well, you don't want to do Love Island. There, there's Love Island. There's also the. Uh, I had to, I had to, I had to, you are the one. I had to are jump, you the one? I had to jump into a different genre so I to get first or last. No, oh, do, do Flavor of Love. I don't. I don't know flavor, that one. Flavor. Flavor. I, 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 Love, Love Island's like the only reality show I've heard of in the last like six years. Okay, Love Island. That's the one where you can't fuck each other, right? I think that's most of them. No, no, no everyone. That's the one where they get shamed though, or something, all. right? They lose. They no. lose money if they try. If they try to fuck each other. So, Game of Thrones, B stars, Young Sheldon, and Love Island. <laughs> Player owners decided based on how plausible it would be that, the, that five years from now, a war between two neighboring countries starts based on the disagreements over this TV show. Did I just win? <laughs> no, I think I won because people, someone, if someone, uh, if one person said it was. You don't think Love Island one, could cause an international if, incident? If one country <laughs> said Young Sheldon was good, there'd be a war. One okay. country has to say it's good. And then there would be a war no. that happens. Because nobody agrees with that. <laughs> no, and there wouldn't be a war. No one cares. People are incapable of caring about Young Sheldon. <laughs> no one cares about Love Island. I think a lot of people care about Love Island. That's how like reality yeah. TV works. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I mean, too, I, I definitely too hot to handle. I don't even know what show you're talking I... about at all. <laughs> it's like a English uh, reality show. That's a lot. Like, I think in the early years, they could show, like, way more than they should have been able to show, and it, like, ruined people's lives. I, like, mm. Flavor of Love. Dude. That's not I'm one of the four. <laughs> I know. Although Game of Thrones was a cataclysmic, uh, like, world-ending uh, TV show. Dude, and, and how and bad then, the ending was. People, yeah, there could have been a war over how bad the ending was. But nobody I, did go to war, so I think it's unlikely that they would, no. Yeah, but, yeah it's, a, oh. it's already over. I mean, so, is, so are all these things. That's fair. I'm just saying, mine's a reality show. <laughs> I I there think are much Keith better reality ruined. shows. Than I think the one it like pick. ruined. I'm disappointed. Didn't, but I, mean, I think didn't, didn't mine ruin the life of like a fucking uh, a Miss like a Miss England or some shit? I don't know. This is the, I'm out of my. I'm trying to half remember podcasts that. I've no, 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 no. Somebody did get in trouble because they they hooked up with somebody and it was like they got basically. Take it, they're, they're, they got denounced as being Miss Whatever because that was improper, which I think is such a, by the way. 
you're on a reality dating show, like, what the fuck do they expect you to do? Everybody fucks on those shows. It's, like, yeah. they, they, they've never been shy about showing stuff, ever. Like, yeah. Well, we need a consensus, or even at the beginning of kind of a consensus, or we'll be here forever. <laughs> This is a I hard think Keith one. wins. Stephanie makes a, a valid argument, so I think second place. Chat for B stars third and me fourth. It's just because no, because like like I, everything I think, else in the world, I we've all Kirtles just we've all just be forgotten the one that about Game of one. Thrones. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so, I think so many people got so mad about it that I feel like I think Kurt was the one that made the, most people mad. Nothing happened. It's over. It's like that's yeah, it. but yours is over it too. It burned out. Is Love Island over? <laughs> I mean, the see. No, yeah, there's I always mean... new shows <laughs> elsewhere, especially like in dubbed versions and whatnot. Island's a boring dating reality show. You don't even know what it is. I literally, you're like, I don't know what it is. That's why I don't watch it because it's not even a good one. <laughs> there, there's no hair pulling or spitting on people or slapping, and it's not a good one. <laughs> did you say, reality TV did you say Young me. Sheldon is second, Colonel? <laughs> Yeah, I'll go last. I did. <laughs> I think, oh my god, I no think... one cares about young Sheldon. <laughs> that's, that's why it'd be funny. Is it Beastars or, or Game of Thrones for second? Uh, Game of Thrones. So, Keith, Colonel, no. chat, Stephanie? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, it's, 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 what a fucking conversation. Um, These are tricky. Uh... But you, that's everybody's stats. Pay attention to things. Alright, I'm back. The store is still here for people who want a store. Um, One store. I don't fully know how this thing. I guess I got the like a poetry. I guess I go to the auditorium, right? That makes sense. I am a smart person. My creativity is bad. I should work on that too. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves decide to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. They'll be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain two creativity. Later, <clears throat> later you're, fi you're fishing around in your pocket for a stick of gum and you find the poetry contest en uh, entry ticket instead. Crap, why'd you even buy this? Does this mean you're actually responsible for writing poetry now? What a nerd. You need to get rid of this thing now. You start looking for the best trash can to stuff it in when some before someone sees. Wait, Keith. Is that a ticket for the 76th annual Monster High Poetry Competition? It's so authentic. I didn't know you were in so into poetry. Color me impressed. I am entering too. It pisses me off because Liam is like, he has all my interests, but I, he's awful. What does this yeah. say about me? Uh, that if you... <laughs> If you list all your interests, you sound awful. <laughs> Apparently. A lot of people who have my interests are awful. Yeah. It's really hard for me to deal with. In your defense, <laughs> literally what the entire cast being monsters is written to be awful, except Scott. Enzo yeah, will die on that hill. Scott is not <laughs> Scott is pure. <laughs> some of them are more endearingly awful. This guy's like annoying. Yeah, but awful. they're all a lot, like Polly with the drugs and Liam with the hipsteriness and <laughs> Polly with the drugs and, per and performative, uh, performative, uh, like purity green stuff. But but it's all like full of contrary stuff because just for status and not because he believes in it specifically. Yeah, he writes, dude. His poetry is gonna be trash. His poetry is gonna be like <laughs> icy heart, yeah. fire, water. And and obviously Vera is or Vela? Vera Vera is just a Vera, lot. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's... Obviously, I'm a fellow connoisseur of the art of poetry. It combines antiquity, pretentiousness, and the sound <laughs> of my own voice, which are all things I love. Exactly. Tell me, Keith, one poet to another, what are your thoughts on the augmentation of, of, tro of trochaic tetrameter in the final canto of the Spenserian sonnet? To kill him with fire. Tetrameter, uh -huh. please. Is that even English? Yeah, that blank stare says it all. I figured you were only doing this to get laid. It's okay. I knew that no one at this culturally barren wasteland of a school was going to take this seriously. So I hired on some outside artistic help from a different school in the district. Oh, here he comes now. What convenient timing. <laughs> oh, he's gone! Oh! oh! <laughs> Oh, well, not him! So this is a crossover mod from the high school dating sim Lovers of Aether. 
The art <laughs> looks official? I think it's just the same artist that did this one? I can't tell. Uh, that... hey, yeah, the Forsberg. line art is a little bit... Uh, how are you doing today? How's Aether High? Aether High is a uh. desolate pit of darkness filled only with tools and fools, and my shadow remains my only ally. Cool. Wow, he never turns it off! How do you do it, Forsburn? Hmm. <clears throat> Who's this triangle scientist, Liam? His blank, thirsty stare reminds me of my father. <laughs> what? Tri triangle scientist? Excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck is a triangle scientist? Yeah, what? <laughs> I... uh, this is Keith. He wants to join our poetry team for the contest. What say you, poetry master? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. As a dark, abandoned spirit and an unloved, unloved second oh son, God. I don't usually play well with others. So edgelord. So what sort of poet are you, Keith? We already have Liam, who's our insufferable hipster poet. You must be a good poet. <laughs> Guilty is charged my esteem, lion-like friend. That's not on the list, I don't think, of what things I would say. Hyena. And I'm our doom and gloom emo poet, so there's two. <laughs> those two slots are filled. What will you bring to the team if you join? Well, besides the bad puns and maybe some donuts, not much, but you can't let Forsburn know that. The only way out of this lie is to dig deeper. I'm the dig son of deeper. inevitably heartbroken, insufferably horny, fighting sexual repression in iambic pentameter. Dude. Everything I say is a haiku. Watch, it's snowing in Mount Fuji. It, what the fuck? It's snowing in Mount Fuji. It's just the Game Grumps joke. <laughs> <laughs> It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> the, fu the fucking Game Grumps joke. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man. Oh uh, fuck. What are these stats? Uh, Dude, that's, a, that's only the middle. Smart and creativity. It's only the right? middle of a haiku. Uh, this might, also be, very this funny might be reference. fun. It's a stupid joke. The, the <laughs> funny thing, the whole thing about the Mount Fuji joke is that it doesn't even work as a haiku, like the syllables are wrong. Well, it it's snowing on Mount Fuji. It's seven, so it can only be the middle line. You need the five, five, seven, five. Yeah, but it's supposed to be the ending of the, it's supposed to be how they end all their haikus. Oh, then yeah, no, it's not very good. Uh, uh, my creativity I think it's smart and creative. Wait, are my stats the same? That could be... What do you mean, are they the same? It could be charming, because it... Because I think they might be creativity and fun, and if they're creativity and fun, then they're both five. But the top one could be smarts or charm, which are both higher. Well, I feel like, I, I so noticed, I like, hope. charm always has to do with, like, horniness. Like, mm. pretty often, it's, like, sexy yeah. stuff. Oh, it's charm, you nailed it! Yeah. What? You? A sonneteer? Yeah, right, if that's true, why don't you put your couplets where your mouth is? Well, if he insists... You start doing what any sonneteer does best, be horny and rhyme. That's how my poems go. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, you say, because you're hot as hell. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Liam, do the hallways here normally fill with sweet-smelling rose petals on command? No, I don't think so. The sweet, sultry lute music coming from, somewhere, from nowhere is new, too. It's working. You keep reciting. And yet by heaven, I think my love as rare, cause you've got a thick ass and I'm gonna stick it there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Damn. Keith. This could be a rap song. <laughs> when did you change into those Renaissance era clothes? I could swear you weren't wearing a starched collar and pantaloons earlier. Dude, Whoa. you're just getting hotter and hotter. Everyone's here! <laughs> Whoa, it's a party in here. Are you guys seeing all these cherubs flying around too? Or are the shrooms finally kicking in? Awesome, bro. Hey, Keith, you look different. I don't know why, but I have the sudden urge to throw laurel leaves at you. Perfect. New muses. You, rec you recite. Aww. Scott, your eyes are nothing like the sun. They are like deep pools of blue coral, and also I want to lick your pecs. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> poetry. <sighs> oh, everyone knows poetry doesn't have rules. It doesn't. That was cool. I want to try. Your butt is like a watermelon. Your nipples as yummy as Funyuns. Side effects may include hallucinations, death, and Bunions. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, that was actually 
weirdly okay? <laughs> Why did everyone get so good at writing couplets? Hmm. Oh, is that what we're doing? I was just reading the label on this Percocet. I'm planning on popping later. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hurts, dude. Your friends wander off to write some more sonnets. Forsburn stays, though, and glares at you with a thousand-yard glare. You've proven yourself, Keith. I will let you join our team. Truthfully, I am... counting on you. As much as it cleaves my soul to admit it. I'll need your help to whip the other poetry team members into shape if we want to win. Just the thought of this undertaking makes me want to cry dark, anguished tears of darkness and anguish. <laughs> but we must persevere. I will see you at poetry practice. It reminds me of Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> His edginess. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> You're I a will beta see male you Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves. You're kind of grateful because this poofy renaissance color is itchy as hell. You gain two creativity and one smarts. You'll need it for the competition. Don't forget, creativity and smarts is important, I think. Yeah, it's Colonel. Boy, uh, so, I, I probably am going to need more smarts. I'm going up against the computer. So, I mean, not going up going against, up that's against not the how computer in the battlefield of love. It's, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're actually, a, you have a lot of smarts. You're fucking a chess computer. Let's, let's get all the smarts. Yeah. I have, this, I have this vague idea of there being like a requirement of 10 whenever I'm hoping to get, get somewhere. So the fact that you're already there is but, a lot. But, but what do you think? Calculator probably has two stats. That's the thing. Is like, well, there's, because mm. most people have two, right? Yeah. I, I would think the other one. I yeah. I think the other one's either, I think I want to say money because he's a computer. Creativity? <laughs> They're expensive. Or fun. Because like Calculator's all like wearing his Hawaiian shirt. Fun he makes wants, sense. He wants to love. I so think I chat think... wants smarts and is mad at you now. Ah, <laughs> let's go for fun then. Let's go for fun. <laughs> I don't know what Calculester wants. I have no idea. But it's something, it's something either. like smarts and like something very human. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You spot Juan the small magical Latino cat who seems a bit sad. He explains to you that he's worried that people are so used to calling him Juan the small blah, 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 that ever now defines by his size, masculinity, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. You Magicality, <laughs> not masculinity. It's a lot. It's a. It's a lot. <laughs> you correct him. You don't see him as in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. Like I said, Breakfast Club reference. It's just that there are around <laughs> twenty-three other different Juans in the school, so adding that all that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him that you'll never forget him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. You have a great time remembering those crazy stories, and you gain two fun. Someone in the chat says that he also thinks that Calculester is smart and fun, so maybe you might be on the right track. It could be. Mm -hmm. You turn away from the rave to find Scott nervously sniffing the ground and looking around suspiciously. You ask him what's up and prepare for a stupid answer. He does not disappoint. Uh, isn't it obvious, bro? I mean, you know why all these people are out here, right? To steal my stash of awesome bones. They look like they're just out having a good time, but that's all a ruse. It's bones they want. My bones. Quick, bro. If you're really my bro, you'll help me move my bones before all these other bros find them. Yeah, I'll help you move your bones. Where should I move them to? <laughs> Tell me. A preschool. Nobody ever looks for bones in a preschool. Uh. <laughs> forget, forget these bones. You already have a near infinite supply of bones hidden inside of people. Oh. Uh -oh. Um. Grim. I'm gonna go with the second one because that's definitely not creative. I think, or I maybe think that, it is that, actually. I, I think the second one. I think, I think it's that's boldness. boldness it's gory. Yeah, but it's murder. Yeah, but is prequel smart? Is the preschool smart or creativity? Those are very different outcomes for you. Yeah, I'm, I I don't want to go with that one because I don't know. Is Trying it, to avoid is creativity. It fun? <laughs> is preschool? Are you going fun? for people? <laughs> yeah, for people. Ooh, oh, that was creativity. I'm sorry. Are you telling uh, me people have had bones inside them this whole time and I didn't know about it? But that means people are better at hiding their bones than I am. I'm supposed to be the best at bones, me. Now what am I? Just another handsome guy who's good at sports and only so-so at bones. You know what? You can have these bones. If I can't be the best at bones, I don't want to do it at all. You don't really want all these bones, but you feel like telling Scott that would make things even worse. You lose two charm and one smarts. Um, also, Scott, for some reason? Yeah, I was going to say, why did Scott show yeah. what, is, what is happening? What is know. happening to the characters that I, show up did you install? Person? Did you install a mod that... Uh, as far it... as I know, the mods that I've added are just scenarios. 
and they're like mm, okay. built around new characters entirely and i think you just opt into them by buying the store item okay mm. so it's the it's chat's turn yeah what are you guys doing with yourselves and your yeah. maps there's one for class <clears throat> classy you end up getting a lozenge <laughs> Because you're doing Scott voice. Oh, that's a, yeah, Scott's unhelpful in that. But I've never had to try to do Scott before. Uh, everyone's saying class. Everyone's saying class. Sorry if you hear mouth noises. I'm trying not to. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain two smarts. A little later, you're standing around trying to figure out what to do with this map you bought when Dahlia appears to assault you with her personality. Ooh, I love Dahlia. <laughs> oh, you know what? You'd be her because I have too many characters <laughs> and she's apparently going to be a thing for I them. I feel like, like, yeah, you... you... Be tough voice. <clears throat> oh, I don't know how to be tough. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 studying a map I see, this can only mean one thing. Clearly you are a master tactician. You point out that there are actually several things it could mean. For example, maybe you're lost, or looking for treasure, or trying to figure out what the hell to do with a paper map. Ha! Huh. Your tactical genius is matched only by your sense of humor. It's the 21st century. Cell phones can do all of the things you described. No, in this modern era, the only reason to study a paper map is to check the efficacy of one's battle tactics, a thing which you were clearly doing. Honestly, it's probably easier to just roll with it. You admit that, yes, you are, in fact, a gifted military tactician. Fantastic. Just as I suspected. And a good thing, too, as I am in need of the services of one such as yourself for my imminent takeover of the Eighth Circle of Hell. Our first task, improving my army, it has to be in tip-top shape if we're to have any hope of crushing the LaVey family. The L LaVey and Satanism. That's mm -hmm. funny. LaVey. Uh... Oh, yeah, you're, prob right. you're probably even less qualified to do this than you are with, to be a student at the school, but hey, it feels good to be needed. You agree to help. Luckily, you don't have to figure this out all on your own. Scott and Liam have every character I'm voicing. Good thing I passed her off to you. <laughs> Scott, <laughs> Scott and Liam happen to be passing by, so you flag them down. <clears throat> they can't possibly be any worse at this than you, right? Mm -hmm. Hey. Do you guys need help with a thing? I love helping. And I am eager to supply my opinions on whatever it is you are doing. Scott, yes, my man. Let us fist bump so hard we feel it in our entire skeletons. <laughs> and Liam, let us gaze longingly into each other's eyes until we feel it in our... I'm out. What? <laughs> yes, what indeed. What was I talking about? Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> my army. Improving it, let us conjure a storm within our collective brains. You're no tactician, but you're not above taking a little inspiration from the classmates in front of you. You suggest... Every team needs motivation, and an army is just another type of team. Nothing says motivation like fun, silly mascot. That's fun. <laughs> Read Swedish poetry to them. That's smarts. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, maybe. What Swedish, I don't know what, the, what, the, what, what Swedish poetry is normally like. But, uh, but being able maybe. to read Swedish makes you smart, I would think. I just want to see the mascot. <laughs> You're not necessarily reading Swedish. It, it, you're just reading Swedish poetry. Ikea, Ikea. Swedish fish and meatballs. Swedish chef makes good Swedish meatballs. Er, da, der, da, der. Nope, it's okay, lower. guys. I'm Swedish. That wasn't racist. All right, that's, yep, that's a lot of bottom. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot of bottom. That's, yep, that's smarts. But how is poetry supposed to whip my army into a killing frenzy? Not poetry, Dahlia. Swedish poetry. The poetry that brought us the Norse gods and death metal. Yeah. Great ghosts of Hades. That seems like powerful <laughs> stuff. Are you sure you're qualified to read it? Am I qualified to read it? <laughs> I have a <laughs> blog, Dahlia. I'm qualified to read whatever I want. <laughs> I have a blog. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. <clears throat> Very well, unleash the poetry, you sexy little purple gummy bear. What? She fucking likes Liam. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Liam clears his throat, pulls up some Swedish poetry on his phone, and begins to read. A torrent of blood and axes issues from his open mouth. Dahlia's army, which was here the whole time, I guess, is very motivated. 
<laughs> Excellent! Damien and those weaklings he calls his fathers won't stand a chance against my thousand <laughs> blades. Whoa! Are you planning to kill Damien's entire family? Uh, yeah. Why? Wow, cool! He'll have so much more time to hang out with us! Indeed. But best of all, it warms your heart to see Dahlia so excited about her bloodthirsty soldiers. You gain two boldness and one charm. Speaking of the fathers, that was my motivation. Is I want I wanted to find the supposed mod that adds Liam's dads to the game as a plotline. Ooh. But it was seemingly never finished, or it doesn't exist, or is gone now. I can't tell which one. But I found all of the other mods that they approved that aren't that one. Seven. Mm. All right. Um. I need. What's, what, what's boldness again? Is That's that... the bathrooms, which is currently the store. But you can buy boldness points there. If you don't want to keep your money. What is... Does, does Damien just have one? I, that's all I know about him. He said he likes boldness. What else does he like? Um... Nothing else? I don't know if it's charm or fun, but one of those sounds right. <laughs> uh, how do, uh, can, we've never, we've never yeah. looked them up. How do I get more... Char that, that, that's the play Charm place. is the gym. But that, that's already occupied, right? No, it's not. No. I'll get more... I'll do that. I'll do that. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost. We deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain two charm. Later, you see Scott all but skipping down the corridor. He's just in every what scenario the fuck for some Scott? reason. Get out of here. <laughs> Cheerily rattling off some sort of list. Hello. Hi, pal. Oh man, today is the best. I was walking out of class and my tail just started wagging all of a sudden. You know how sometimes your tail starts wagging and you're not even sure why? Yeah, of course. Yeah, everyone knows what that means. Yeah. I started wondering why my tail might be so happy about it, and then I realized it's probably just because I'm a werewolf. My dog knows what that's, what that's like. Because being a werewolf is just about the best thing, right? I mean, if I wasn't a werewolf, I wouldn't even have a tail to wag. But then I started thinking even more, and I realized where everything's would be pretty good. Where dolphins, where pigs, where weasels, where tanks. Oh, gosh. I wonder what the absolute best wear creature would be. I think this fan, this fan art of wear tanks already. <laughs> wear vending machines, wear water fountain, wear door, wear window, wear knob, wear floor. These are not really creaturey, dude. Okay, now he's just naming things he can see. <laughs> all he's better just, jump are in. all these things just hairy? Like, <laughs> yeah. or just like, I, I think it implied, it's implied the human turns into those so things. I don't want a person to be my doorknob. That's not cool. Yeah, half of a doorknob. <laughs> Ew. I think that there was a wear doorknob and John dies at the end. <laughs> A were moon, a were werewolf. Uh oh. Good luck oh. decoding what these. What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> Good luck decoding <laughs> these. Um, where werewolf is. <laughs> what the fuck? A were moon. A were werewolf. What does that even mean? One of these is creativity, but I don't want that one because I'm not creative at all. I'm so sorry to everyone that gets the joke I said earlier. <laughs> I think I know which one is which. Where Moon is gonna be like, oh, but then they see each other, and then they oh, turn the into moon. a that the werewolves like. like, yeah. So, but what, so what, what does I that mean? It might be smart. I don't know what stats there. It might be smarts, because he's gonna like freak out, and the were werewolf is probably just fun or something. I I, I don't know honestly, but but, but the I, thing is, is one of these is creativity. I'm pretty sure, and that's the one I don't want. But I don't know which one is creativity. Um, hmm. are they, they feel both creative in a way. It's like an imagination well, that's every line. choice. <laughs> that's every line. They're, they're lines in the video game. Of course they're creative. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go with... W Wear Moon sounds fun. Somebody said WarioWare in the chat. That's really funny. <laughs> I love WarioWare. Okay, <laughs> do the top one. Top. We'll do Wear Moon. We'll see what happens. You're gonna do Wear Moon? Uh, hopefully it's not Oh no, you're gonna to ruin it with Scott, the character you're not trying I to I don't want with. him! So smart. Okay, yeah. cool. You're right. Oh, Good right, job. A were moon, but but the moon is the reason a where something becomes the something. So if you were the moon, you'd have the most wear power ever. You could make everybody wear everything's all the time. Awesome, bro. Think how happy everyone would be and how much better the world would be. I would love to be the moon. Maybe if I work out extra hard. <laughs> you can become the moon. <laughs> okay, you're not sure. That you're not sure being the moon comes with those powers, but you gain two creativity and one smart, so whatever. <laughs> what what a what a what, what a beautiful soul. <sighs> I don't know how to do that voice without straining. Colonel. Oh, it's me. 
That weekend, you're having some sick milkshake milkshakes with Scott, Miranda, and Damien. Conversation is chill and weird, and you're listening to Scott talk about stuff that makes no sense, but you're enjoying yourself. And that's how I learned that even if Principal Giant Spider is such a nice dude, spiders in general are not nice and like to prey on other insects. Yeah, but you eat people, Scott. <laughs> wait, wait, that's a wait for me, but also from Damien. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. What? Are you, like, 100% sure spider do that? Yeah, it's like, oh. I keep those as pets. <laughs> I would say 120%, no, 128% sure. That's a lot of sureness, Damien. You know what that means, right? Dunning-Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> it means that spiders don't eat other insects, because spiders aren't insects. Ah, you <clears throat> found the plot hole. Yeah, that is yeah. Good, jo good job. The, the other part. <laughs> Doesn't work. Congratulations! I give you the th I give you the crown that says that guy on it. <laughs> For you are. <laughs> I, I honestly thought, I honestly thought Damien was gonna point that out, and then I realized how foolish I was for expecting that. <laughs> that he was gonna pay attention. Damien's not like the smartest one there. Yeah. I feel like yeah. The only person to point that out would be Liam because he's, he's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> he, just, he would just be that way about it. That he would have that guy. He's the, yeah. he, he's the, well, actually, kind of guy. Well, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we fucked up big time bringing those spiders to Smalltopia. Smalltopia? What's that? It's a small civilization we discovered outside of school. Miri and I decided we were going to be the rulers of it, and since then we have ruled it with our combined smarts. We're like the best rulers ever. On Frey, we found a bunch of cute spiders, and we brought them to Smalltopia. We thought they'd make a great Smalltopian citizens. They have like eight little hands to do lots of high-fiving and handshaking with other citizens. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We, we, we need to go check on Smalltopia, Miri. <laughs> <laughs> and so the four of you go outside just to discover that, in fact, the little Smalltopian citizens are being hunted down by the merciless spiders. Yes. No! Do not worry, our beloved subjects. Your rulers are here to solve the situation. A tiny person screams while fleeing from a spider. For the hundredth time, we're called West Pemberley. We're a democracy, and every time you come close to our city, you fuck up everything. <laughs> Can you hear their tiny screams, Damien? They're asking us for help. Try to stop the spiders. Spiders, stop doing that. Don't be asshole spiders. Be awesome, friendly spiders. <laughs> bad spiders, bad spiders. They seem to be ignoring your demands, obviously, because... Spiders don't count verbal communication among their skill set. You don't have the necessary diplomatic skills to mediate with the spiders. Oh, sure, that's why. Yes. You're, you're like 156% right. These guys are all we need someone. <laughs> We need someone who will kick ass at diplomacy, but who? Mm. You definitely have no idea about diplomacy, but maybe you can call your most diplomatic friend. Who would that be? What? What is... Chat, who was voted most um... likely to solve a diplomatic conflict involving spiders last year. Or Keith, who told you last week that his favorite dinosaur is the Diplo Diplodocus, which has something to do with diplomacy, right? <laughs> Fuck, you really have no idea what diplomacy is about, but the Diplodocus should, thing should count. Uh, <laughs> diplomacy should be charm, since that's the thing you get from the diplomacy activity, which is gym. Well, yeah, diplomacy is, yeah, it should be charm. Who? I don't, so, I don't remember what you guys' stats yep, are at You gotta all. guess whether chat or Keith has more charm. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know. I'm gonna go with... Um, I'm gonna go with chat, I think. You're gonna go with chat? I think so. So charming. They have eight, oh. and I have seven. That was close. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Call chat, and in a matter of minutes, they are ready to help you. Whoa, don't they have a life or something outside of trying to please your classmates? Yeah, get Weird. a life, guys. Losers. Get a, yeah. <laughs> get a life, stream audience. Yeah. 50 collective people. Watching, Let's just get all of them Watching once. us play this game, get a life. <laughs> they then sit and start conversation with the spiders. The spiders seem to understand the catastrophic consequences of their actions, even if it's the result of their natural predatory behavior. They seem open to looking for an alternative that satisfies the interests of both communities. Or so you think. It's kind of hard to read their faces and expressions because oh, they're, the you know, tiny spiders. Cute. 
What's important is that by the end of that, under, the end of it, the spiders stop hunting down the citizens of Smalltopia. Instead, they adjust to their new ecosystem of, by following a very well thought out plan crafted by Chat. Good job, Chat. <laughs> Chat did. Great. Twitch plays democracy. <laughs> <laughs> The plan is presented as a well -organized, in a well-organized manner in a manila folder and comprises the next five years of coexistence. When the fuck did chat write this? Have they been waiting for this moment all their lives? Yeah, they actually have a plan for dealing with spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Look! The spiders are opening a hair salon! Those spiders are rad as fuck! Cool spiders don't eat smalltopian citizens. Cool spiders give kick-ass hairstyles to their friends. I wish I had a friend that gave me a kick-ass hairstyle. Yes, and look, they're now doing lots of high-fiving and handshaking. It's a dream come true. <laughs> Hooray! Your three classmates seem to be impressed, both by chat's diplomatic skills and by your skill in calling them on the phone. Great. You can both gain two fun and one smarts. Yay. Bonuses all around except for...